Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about setting up the B-Brain flight controller in angle mode so it feels like the stock Inductrix flight controller in angle mode. Uh, my last tutorial covered this, but after I put that tutorial out, some people got in contact with me and gave me some ideas on how to refine the formula. I wish that I had been smart and knowledgeable enough to s figure this out all on my own. I wasn't, but I figured I could consolidate this information for you guys here so you can set this up quick and easy. It's going to be some beta flight setup and it's also going to be some Tyrannus setup. So let's start by connecting our B brain to beta flight. Come down to the PID tuning tab. The first thing we want to adjust is right here where it says angle, strength. Change that from 50 to 30 and then hit save. Now we're going to come down to the CLI tab. And in the dialog box, we're going to write set, space, max, underscore, angle, underscore, inclination, equals 450. And then hit enter. Now we're going to type save. Hit enter. It's going to say saving, rebooting. It's going to kick us back out to the home page. When we get there, just hit disconnect. Now what this is going to do is going to change the strength that the B brain tries to, to level itself out. I felt like 50 was too much, so I turned that down to 30. And then it's also going to change our max angle that the uh, drone can pitch over whenever we're driving or turning from, I believe it's 70 degrees stock. We're going to change that to 45 degrees. The next part of the setup is going to involve the Tyrannus. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some mixing to the throttle. And basically what mixing does is anytime we maneuver the aircraft, if we bank it, if we pitch it forward or we yaw, it's going to add a little bit of throttle to those maneuvers to help keep it from sliding off the wind. So if you've flown the B-Brain in angle mode, you know that when you bank it or you pitch it, it starts to slide. And that's basically because the throttle is staying the same, but the aircraft's at a different angle. So the mixing, when we bank it, it's going to give us a little bit more throttle to help keep it making it feel like it's locked on rails instead of sliding off the wind. So go ahead and uh, on your Tyrannus, we're gonna go to your model, and then we're gonna page to page six, right here, that's the mixing page. Now your page six mixing page is gonna probably be lacking these three lines, so we need to add those in. So the first thing we're gonna do, highlight channel one, do a long press of the enter button, it's gonna bring up this menu. We need to go down to insert after, and we need to insert three lines after channel one. After that, it's gonna look like this. So we wanna come down to the first line that we inserted. We need to change all the information on it so it matches up with what I have here. So select this first line, do a long press of the enter button and select edit. It's gonna bring up this page. So we need to change the source. It needs to be I and then ELE, that's the elevator. We need to come down to curve and set it to custom curve one. And then on switch, we need to change this switch to the same switch that you used to arm angle mode on your on your B-Brain. So I, I arm angle mode with uh, switch D in the middle position. So here I have SD dash. Then we're gonna back out. We're gonna come down to the second line and we're gonna set it up to look just like this. So long press on that second line, hit edit. Come down to source, change it to I, AIL. Come down to curve, custom curve one, and then switch whatever your arm switch is. Back out one more time, come down to the third line, long press edit, change source, I, R, U, D, rudder, come down to curve, custom curve one, and then set your arm switch. Then we're gonna back out again. Now we need to go to page eight, which is the curves. Curve one, this is the curve that we're using to set up our mixing. So we need to do a long press there and come into the edit screen. What we need to change is the Y values right here. And just set them up to look just like this. 30, 15, 0, 15, 30. Once you have all that set up, you've basically programmed your B-Brain and your Tyrannus to handle angle mode very well. It's going to feel very similar to the stock Inductrix. So go ahead and play around with these settings and again if you guys think of any way you can make this better let me know and we'll keep improving on it.